This was all broadcasted live at twitch.tv forward slash devatron. Hmm. So Warden Melly believes that the frenzies of these Pokemon are some sort of trial set by Almighty Sinnoh. Call him Arceus, Sinnoh. We're all friends here. We cannot know if that is the case or not. But it does beg the question. Why ever would this... Why ever would this mighty Sinnoh drive the nobles to frenzy? It is angered by something, or does it seek to drive a wedge between people and Pokemon? Well, far be it from us humans to fathom the thoughts of Pokemon. And what is that, that space-time rift anyway? What caused it to open? Me, but don't tell anyone. Hmm. But you must be tired. Go on then. To the Wallflower. Get some rest while you can. Fucking don't have to tell me twice, I'll tell you that. I've instructed Benny to prepare you his finest potato mock. The mocky? I think sure. Let's go, I caught a Sheldon. Let's go. Really, I caught a Sheldon. Why are you eating my time? Why are you like this? Would you like a smacked bottom? Don't answer that question. I'll get done for animal abuse. Okay. What, what an enticing aroma. My appetite just went through the roof. Quite a change from the commander's usual preaching about tightening our belts until things grow more stable. Indeed. Well, I've heard talk that our progress surveying Pokemon has made gathering ingredients a less wondrous? Or at least less dangerous task. It's, it's almost like a fairy tale, isn't it? How you've fallen to us from the sky and gone on to help the people of Hisui so much. It's just what I do. Indeed, taking so much perilous duties has earned you a great deal of trust, Devatron. It's like I always say, behavior is a mirror that reflects one's true nature. Yep. You let your actions do the speaking for you, Devatron, and the message is clear as day. It doesn't matter one whit where you came from. You're part of the Survey Corp and Jubilee. Village now, let's go! Oh, are you my nice China? I have a new tie. Never mind, my new tie ran away. Unlucky. Let's go, I'm up early. Is it? It's not as if getting up early changes what you can do with the day. I think different Pokemon, just saying, just saying. Yes, it does. It opens up possibilities, such as responding to Commander Com Commando's invitation today in a timely manner. Oh boy. Well, I got that same invitation, and I had to wake up even earlier than you to run all the way here for it. That's a you problem. Come on, no need to grouse so much over an a nice little early wake up. I think it's nice about waking up early. Come on, man. Are you coming too? I'm sure we all can guess what the commander wants with us. Not, not a clue, mate. Not a clue. Yes, do come. Galaxy Hall is quite close anyway. Is it? I know that. Who's eating my hair? Uh-uh. What if I start e eating you, huh? What are you going to do about it? Yeah, don't try me, woman. You. Huh? You've now quelled the frenzy of four nobles. On to the next one. When all of these frenzies arrived from all over history, I feared what would become of us. But here we are, already preparing to quell the final noble. I wonder what the final noble is. Yeah. Who would have dreamt so some stranger who tumbled out of the sky would be our salvation? Life never does stop surprising you. I know. I know. The only le lord left to be quelled is Avalug, which lives in the Alabaster Icelands. New location, Park Chan. He's also the largest of the nobles, according to, to what Irida told me. I like a challenge. Your mission is to quell Avalug, the final lord. Perhaps in doing so, we may trigger some change in the space time rift as well. Who knows? Maybe we will, Ollie. Maybe we will. Avalok may be the Pearl Clan's noble, but my clan and the Galaxy team will have to be have to step up to resolve this. Too, for the sake of a brighter future. Yes, exactly. 
then let us all meet in the cold reaches of the Alabaster Icelands. Until then. Alright, can I go now? No. No matter how many of these fancy Pokemon you may quell, the fact remains that you are a stranger to, the, to our world. Yeah? No small number of people still regard you with suspicion and distrust. The most you could do, the most you can hope for, is to gain the trust of, of as many as possible. And to do that, you must prove yourself through your actions. Well, duh. Well, duh. Yeah. What happened? I teleported this Wumple outside at once. Good job, Abra. Good job. Ahem. So, you're the sur you're to survey Alabaster Iceland's next. This is the, the most tre treacherous climb you'll face in all of history. It would not be an extra exaggeration to say that you might be the only one among the survey corps I can task with surveying the Alabaster Iceland. You know your orders, see your mission through. Let's go! Head to Alabaster Iceland. Hey, why are they today? So you're, so you're to make for Alabaster Iceland. Yeah, that's right. Yes, sir. I see. Of course, I am all too aware of the injuries done to some of our own good people because of the frenzies of the other nobles. They seem little choice but to intervene. But this Avalog out in the Alabaster Islands hasn't harmed a soul, so I hear it. Does it really behoove us to go out of our way to subdue him? If Avalog's as great and mighty as they, as they say, he could very well cause avalanches. Avalanches don't require any Pokemon's help. They occur perfectly well on their own, you know? I confess I still have my doubts whether we should even be getting involved in this case. No damage has been done so far, but if we send Devatron out there, well, we'll be putting him in danger for real harm. Come on. Better than that. There's simply so much we don't understand when it comes to the noble Pokemon. We don't know whether the frenzies truly are causing them to suffer, nor do we know why they entered these states in the first place, or if this is all connected somehow to the space-time rift. Spoilers. What is it, I wonder, that the commander hopes will come out from our quelling the nobles, or indeed, from surveying any of the Pokemon of this island? What is it he hopes to achieve? A way to coexist. I certainly hope so. The goal of my research is to help build a future where everyone gets along with Pokemon. That's a Laventon. Ah, nothing to bother us yourselves about. Doubtless, I'm just being silly sausage. <laughs> he said silly sausage. You've got a mission to carry out, haven't you, Devashon? Then we will support you in it. Good. Now get on with it. The best support I can offer you now is another chance to practice you in back. Fine. I'm, gl I'm glad just to get the opportunity to battle you. The fact that I've been able to grow so much as a Servo Corps member and work together with Pikachu is due to you joining us. Oh, you think you could beat me with a Pikachu? That's cute. Mr. Mime! Okay, so, you, it, so Mr. Mime's a, a psychic as well, so. Oh, but they're at level. They're at level. Hmm, I forget. Okay. Yep. Come back, Mr. St Mrs. Mrs. Stanler. Why is it so loud all of a sudden? Alright. Data ball. Goodbye, Mr. Mine. Who's next? Ravia. Oh, on. X-ray.
Oh, that was... Oh, that was uncanny how much damage that just did. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, there's snow rights in the chat. Midpoint pokey, ch uh, pokey catch. Catch it. Well, I... The, the recoil did more damage than the actual Staravia. Two moves. It's fine, it's fine. I'm just gonna fuck you up with Glasgow anyway. Try and hit me now, on the arch. Never mind. I've decided. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Start learn e Sylvia on level up. And Postal. With, um. Levo. That's it. Got there eventually. Let's go. I should have bought a jacket because it's going to be cold. I should really get a brown bow tie so I can look exactly like my character in game. I think I should do that one day. I just know where to get like a, br a brown bow tie like that. Uh, oh, hello. Got rid <laughs> We're, we're talking. How aren't you freezing? Freezing? I'm practically sweating. If you think this is bad, just wait. This is nothing compared to where you're headed. Let's go. You know, I, I'm beginning to think the problem between us isn't a Diamond Clan thing or a Pearl Clan thing. It's just a, a you and me thing. You'll never see eye to eye on anything, will we? Doubt it. I don't see how we could. As long as you and your clan cling to your vision of an almighty Sinnoh, that reigns over time, due to my bluntness, but if such a being even could, it does exist. You're certainly not almighty, Sinnoh. Yeah. <laughs> no comment. Alright, that's my unit. That's your units, everyone, if you haven't already. Yes, yes. Leave what you want. Just tell us where we have to go. We're headed to see my teacher, and he's only ever found in one place. Oh, joy. Which is? You're talking about the Garrick fellow, right? Where did we find him? At Avalog's legacy, obviously. What else but a great mass of ice could I have meant when I said we'd be heading somewhere even colder? Fair, fair. Yes, I am ready to go. I've been ready for the past three hours. Just stomp off without me. This is why I can't stand people who only care about whether time is passing, passing them by. So you have a look's legacy, Devotron. Take care on your way. I will. I'll catch some Pokemon as well. Why not? Alright. Actually, I, I, I am good on Pokeballs. Alright, we're here. Let's go. Well, that was a real slog. Fighting through those miserable icy winds to reach this desolate bit of nowhere. Well done, us. Let's go. This gentleman is Avalog's warden and my most honourable teacher, Garrick. Hello. So show some respect, Adamant. Yeah. Let's begin with some proper introductions. I'm Garrick. I serve as one of the Pearl Clan's wardens. Okay. And you must be Devstrom, right? Of the Galaxy team. Yes. Answer me this, would you? On what grounds do you come here seeking to quell Lord Avalard? He's in frenzy, my good sir. That leads to my next question. What is wrong with him being frenzy? Could trouble others. It could cause catastrophic damage. Then I have a qu another question. Questions. Setting aside any orders, what is it your heart tells you to do? <laughs> to quell his frenzy. Yes. A mighty lord of the Tundra Avalog has done nothing to trouble any personal Pokemon yet. Sir, please try to keep your cool. For now, indeed, Avalog's causing no trouble. But aren't we also duty bound to free our people from living in fear that such a, such a colossal Pokemon might begin to wreak havoc at any moment? We are. There's certainly some logic to that. 
But if that is what you hope to accomplish, then we, then we must judge whether this child is up to the task. Who cares about their grandstanding? Let's get to battling. Alright. Your funeral. Alright, Ollie. His funeral. Is he doing squats? This is a battle, not a workout session. Oh, not the Pokemon I should be sending out. When if Vaporeon is at level, this would have been. And Frostlass. I managed to tank a hit. I'll take it. At two hits. Alright, now you're both fucked. Because uh, Typhlosion's coming out. And he's not happy. Unlike. I don't care who's next, you're both dead. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And you for us, lass? Let me actually get a second attack. Yeah. It's fine. It was planned. Yeah, I could send out Vaporeon again. But I don't want to risk it. That's that, man. Oh, Santa's dead. Okay, I knew that. And that Gliscor. I think Gliscor's weak to ice. Yeah, fuck it. It, sh it should die anyway. I did it. I quelled your Pokemon, good sir. And they pour and got a level up. Outstanding. I'm tough as an iceberg, but you smashed me through and through. That's what she said. I suppose you could you can get on with it now. This one's alright. Thank you, sir. Some may still have their doubts about a stranger like Devishon, but I'll I'll vouch for him. Thank you, thank you. Then if you insist on quelling Avalog's frenzy, you want to claim some of that eternal ice he likes and bring it to my lord's seat. Good luck. Alright, let's do it. Eternal ice, is it? For that, you'll have to be able to fly, which means you need a braviary. Long story short, you've got to seek out a young lady named Sa Sabby. Tell the long story, lo story long. You're not, s not saving any time if we w waste it puzzling out what you mean. Isn't Avalog one of the Poe Clan's lord? Seems a bit odd for me to, to do the talking. But fine, listen up. The eternal, this eternal ice stuff can be found atop Avalog's legacy here, eh? But to get there, you'll need to, need my clan's help. Not even Sneasel can climb the surface, let alone a person like you or me. We're going to have to approach by air with Bravery's help. Let's do it. Eric once managed to climb nearly to the top of Avalog's legacy. I'll have you know. He says he made it to within six feet of the top. Might, might make right, or at least height. And uh, about Sabi, how do I put this? Even when she's not flying with bravery, she's got her head in the clouds. Well, you'll understand once you meet her. Head towards Snowpoint Temple, and you'll probably come across her sooner or later. What? Yeah, what do you mean? Sabi? Oh, there she is. Oh, that's the Hisui bravery. Oh, look at that beast. Yep, I want one. My clairvoyance told me that I'd lead you on a chase. Think you can reach me? Is that a challenge? I see what you meant about Sabi, but why would she be up there? Good question. Seems you better focus on pursuing Warden Sabi, and let me focus on my workout while, while I still can. Will you join the Discord server? Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Make sure you follow me on TikTok. Make sure you follow me on Twitch. And if you're liking the video so far, make sure, make sure you drop a juicy blue like right down below. Yes, a juicy blue like. Oh my God, thank you so much. This was all broadcasted live at twitch.tv forward slash devotron.